What's going on guys? A quick little video, very, very specific video today. It's gonna be my new process on how I clean my wheels and tires. This process evolves, especially the wheel process, um, several different iterations at this point, probably like at least five. You know, I, I go back and forth of what products I use, how I use them, do I use the bucket with water, all that good stuff. So I kind of want to just give you an update for right now, you know, mid to end 2017 um, wheel process update. So this is, I've always struggled with this, so this is a really good opportunity for you guys who are either detailers or maybe have a better idea um, and some advice as to what you guys do. So I'd be interested to see how you guys, um, what process you guys use for how you clean your wheels. So, starting off really quick, um, I have a Krenzla 1122 TST pressure washer um, and the full um, the MTM and Mosmatic, the whole Quick Connect special kit a package that you get from Matt at Obsessed Garage. So full credit goes to Matt for that whole thing. Super lazy, all you have to do is click buy um, and it gives you, um, it's a 1400 PSI pressure washer, roughly two gallons per minute, but with the attachments it brings it down to roughly, I think 1200, between 1000 and 1200 PSI. So that's just fine for washing. The only other notable thing is this is a 40 degree tip, which is just how far out the, the flat um, you know, obviously it's not the laser setting or anything like that, but I use that because it spreads it out, but it also has enough contact um, with the paint and the wheels. So this is what I use. The first step I do is blast the wheels. Um, I've always done this, whether you have a hose or a pressure washer. So let's just blast the wheels off and um, see how well they come clean. So as you guys can see, um, a lot of the dirt actually came off. If I was in a rush, I might not even scrub these, but I'm gonna show you the full process here just in case the, like the fronts, the fronts are always way worse. So the front, that's just horrible. Here, let me, let me get you a good view. Um, yeah, like that's just, that's just unacceptable, guys. I've been driving a lot. point that kind of struck me to make this video at all was I did a video on um, CarPro Hydro 2 on the wheels which um, a lot of people do but my issue was that I did my wheels and then I did a buddy's wheels my friend Ignis and it seemed like it just grabbed all the dirt and um, my thought was I'm gonna try to strip it off I'm never gonna use it again and see if I can tell uh, if the dirt's grabbing and as you can see the dirt blew off I think it blew off more than normal it's been an extended period of time and I've used um, heavy-duty wheel cleaner and um, you know iron out and all the more aggressive type products that you don't really need to use a lot um, but I've used those to sort of make sure that hydro 2 is not on the wheels and maybe break it down a little quicker I don't know if it's going to but I think it did it's not really beating or anything like that so I still stand by kind of what I said in my why I think Hydro 2 ruined my wheels video. If you want to go check that out, I'll put it in the description. Um, but that spray sealant is much better on the paint if you're doing, you know, a vehicle that um, it doesn't have super depth to it, um, but it does have uh, hydrophobic capabilities and it works really well for how easy it is. Um, it works pretty well. So, first step, sorry, I just got on a little tangent there, but that's kind of what struck me to do this video. So, next step. What I used to do was fill this up with some cheap car soap and then I would use the you know soapy water and kind of go in here. But um, recently I haven't been doing that. What I've been doing is just using some relatively cheap wheel cleaner, not even a lot. Just honestly, that's it, you know, just a couple like inside the barrel. And uh, letting that sit 
uh, tire and rubber cleaner, which is definitely number one Adams. I haven't used anything even remotely as good. And then to do the tire first, it shouldn't be too bad. And the key is to kind of keep your brushes clean. So I sort of just blast it. Second step, I do the barrel. And um, really, <laughs> you don't have to do anything other than just blast this off and just go in as far as you can and just sort of wiggle it. The only thing with this brush, as I've mentioned a million times, is it sort of flings back water. So it's kind of annoying, but um, this one is harder to use. So I've, I've been using this one. Um, if I were to use this one, which I really do like, this is the um, Incredibrush flat version. It just seems, you know, smaller and I don't know, it's just too like wiggly. This one, the bristles are bigger, so you have to do less work. It feels like you have to do less work. And then half the wheel, I kind of just blast it. And then I blast the wheel because you don't want anything to dry on here. All right, so as you guys can see, it probably looks pretty clean, um, but if you look closely, you know, there's still the face I didn't touch. I didn't touch any of these areas or anything like that. So I got something which is definitely recommended. You can also pick this up from Obsessed Garage, and then this is a um, lambskin, I guess, wheel mitt or wool mitt or whatever. Um, and here, let me put it on. This is all it is, and there's just a little Hole that you just stick your hand and it's just like a mitt. It's just a tiny little mitt and um, this is super easy especially for wheels like this where you have to sort of kind of go around the edges instead of using your hand with a rag or you know like a brush doing this takes longer than kind of doing this which I'll show you right now. Um, so let's get you guys a little bit closer. So all I do is just this. Really nice. Easy. Boom. Then I take this boar's hair, and this gets everywhere else. It gets the lug nuts. And it gets this little, in any areas I forgot, it can be pretty good here now. You guys can be the judge. You think that was a good job. This took about, I don't know, seven minutes maybe, which is kind of a long time, but it used to take me longer. And um, this is kind of the you know, new process that I'm using. And yes, I know there's some nasty curb rash that was not for me, it's from the previous owner. So this is the infamous Hydro 2 that I would normally spray as a last step spray sealant that's supposed to keep the wheels cleaner. But honestly, right now, they stay cleaner without this stuff. I'm, this is just reiterating. Um, I might show you the front wheel because the front wheel is worse. That probably would have been a better example. But the rear, this one came clean much, much easier. Normally when I blast it, I have to scrub it. Where in this situation, if I wanted to be quick, I probably could have got away without scrubbing the rear wheels of this car, to be honest with you guys. But I don't take shortcuts, so we're gonna do the full the full shebang here but that's my full process this is the newest edition probably my favorite that I don't get why there aren't more of these out there to clean your wheels like it makes too much sense to not use this if you have very few things you know these two are probably going to be primary um, wheel cleaning tools which are, are fairly expensive this is only like 10 or 15 bucks but I feel like this was this is called the easy detailing brush um, which also 
comes in a mini version as well. Um, but those are the two things that I think are probably most important. I wouldn't worry about the wheel cleaner. I wouldn't worry about, um, honestly, even the pressure washer. Although as, as long as the wheels are in good shape, you can blow a lot of that crap off. So I hope this uh, was informative to you guys. I'm, I'm trying to do more detailing stuff, especially because it's going to get cold soon. and. I'll be out here that much less. So thanks so much for watching, but don't forget to put your process below. I'm interested to see if you guys use the same process, if you got some of your process from me, if you mix and match, and maybe even if you change it up like as much as I do. I feel like every few months I sort of, you know, get a different um, brush or something else, or, you know, I used to fill the bucket up with water and some cheap soap, for example, which is still a good um, option, but now pretty much just holds all my stuff so thanks guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe below I really appreciate it and I'm trying to get a lot of likes so don't forget to like this video it helps more people see it it helps the analytics and it helps more people find the channel which is really really great the channel is growing pretty good so thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time Guys, see how well that came off? That was not happening before. Like, if I was a lazy ass, I could get away with just leaving this as is. So, there is more um, evidence to my opinion, is to don't use carpohydro to in your wheels. Maybe I have a special case, but I don't think I'll be doing it again.